This will be a short little video showing you how to change the speed of your clips. It's quite simple to do, and uh, so that's why it's going to be quick. So let's get started, shall we? Okay. You'll notice in my timeline here, I have a single clip of Pickles. I'm sure you uh, remember Pickles. He's the best cat ever made. And in here, I have put in some markers. And so the reason I've done that is because I do not want to change the speed of the entire clip. I only want to change the speed in a couple of places. So I'm going to cut it into four pieces. Um, one of them we're going to leave as it is. Another one we're going to speed up. A second one we're going to speed up. And then a third one we're going to slow way down for dramatic purposes. So to cut the clips is quite simple. Uh, since I have my markers in exactly the right places, I can just click on a marker. And by the way, to create a marker, you can just put your playhead wherever you want and then just hit the M key and that will make a marker. So right here, this first part, I want this to be all sped up. You'll notice that if I kind of scrub through the video, Pickles is not as elegant as he usually is. Um, takes him a while to warm up. But then at a certain point, he becomes regal and proud, a beast of the forest. And so that's the part we're going to slow down. The rest of it, we're going to go pretty fast through, except for one little part. And that is right here. Listen carefully. Isn't that cute? Yes, he's purring because he's near his dad. Makes him very happy, of course. So anyway, back to where I was. I'm going to click on this marker, and that is where I want to splice this. So in other words, turn it from one clip into two. So I'm going to go over here, and this is the razor tool. Grab that, and then I'm simply just going to click right on the playhead. So that has now divided this into two clips. Let me click on the next marker. Click on it again. Boom. And one last time. I'm going to click on the playhead on this last marker. And so now we have four clips, so we can give each of those clips a different duration. So chances are, if you're going to insert slow motion, you may have to do this same type of a thing. Unless, of course, your entire clip um, is what you want to be slow-mo or speed it up. Then you don't have to go through this process. All right, back to my arrow tool here, and I am going to click on this first clip right there, and then I am going to right-click on it. You will notice that this most of this window goes um, out of screen, so I'm going to scroll down so you can't see it. You're just going to have to take my word for it, but just about four lines below where it gets cut off on your screen is a callout called speed slash duration. So I'm going to choose that, and that will bring up this nice little window. And you'll see it's quite simple. So right now, the duration of that clip is 239 frames, and the speed it's playing at is normal speed, 100%. If you want it to play faster, you increase that percent. If you want it to play slower, you decrease that percent. I want this clip to play quite a bit faster, so I'm going to change it from 100% to 300 percent. You'll notice that now that clip is only taking 79 frames because it's happening over a much shorter period of time. And then one last thing you need to do to smooth out the quality, because obviously we're drastically modifying all of the digital information here. So if you drop this menu here where it says frame sampling, you can choose optical flow. And that will kind of smooth it out and make it look a little more natural. Uh, so right now I'm going to click on OK, and you're going to notice that the clip gets much shorter. Now a word of warning. If you had wanted to make this clip be slow motion, it's going to make the clip be much longer, as you'll see when we get down here to the end. So you need to take your clips and move it way over to the right so that when this grows, it doesn't overwrite the other clips. So that's all good. So now I'm just going to mark these clips and I'm going to move them over. 
Now this second part right here, I'm gonna leave this alone because that's where Pepper is purring. <laughs> oh my. Um, then this one, Pickles is never boring, um, but you know, sometimes he is a little less regal. So we're gonna speed through this whole part right here and we're gonna do exactly the same thing we did on the other one. Pull down to speed duration, change this to 300%. Change this to optical flow, go OK. Again, that drastically shortens the number of frames. And then finally, I'm gonna pull this last clip over there. And this is the one where Pickles is in his true glory, right there. And so I want to not speed this one up, of course. I want to slow this way down. So right click on this clip, speed duration. And this time, instead of going above 100%, I'm gonna go way below 100%. I want this to play at 30% speed, and you'll see the number of frames went up from about 100 to 400. So down here, I'm gonna click Optical Flow one more time and click OK. And now look at the amount of time that clip is taking. So again, if you'd had another clip right after this, and you had converted this into slow motion, then it would have overwritten the frames to the right of it. So make sure you move your clips out of the way before you do that. If you do it by mistake, just undo, move it over, and then do it again. All right, so uh, I have the finished version of this film all ready to show you, so I'm gonna come over here and uh, watch and learn a little something, people. And if you are a dog person, I think this uh, video will change your life.